There you go ahead. All right, fellas, I'm taking fellas, a dab. You can we start are live. it. We are live. We are live. All right, fellas. <laughs> we're here. We got the goats. Everyone introduce yourselves. No. All right, fuck <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm the black guy. All right, all right. We got, that, we got that M. Nussi here as well. We're going to be rewatching. Yes, sir. The games from this past. Hold on, I'm moving up some ice cream. We're gonna be rewatching these games from the past tournament, except for the first one because Tabs and Mnaz and Chris are gonna make a separate video on that. So be on the lookout for that, I guess. But let's get started. Tab or Chris versus Chase. Now, Chris, pretense going into this. Chris just beat or Tabs. No, Chris beat tabs the night before to get into this position to where if he won this game he would secure fifth seed now let's get into it all right so all right right here what made you want to lead what made you want to lead a crowbat like when you were in this game what were you thinking um i thought i'm pretty sure i thought that no matter what he leads, Crobat is going to hit it for something hard. And if it's a, a real counter to Crobat, then I'll just U-turn and I'll be safe. Because I'll outspeed whatever. I like it. I like the thought process. And boom! The crit. Now, crit. sort of, It's a damage roll if he killed her out the Brave Bird because he's banded. But crit. Start the game. That's definitely rough. And then he misses the Thunder Wave on the... Oh, this... But it wouldn't have mattered if he Thunder Waved yeah, me, no, by the way. Because I, uh, I was inner-focused on... On both Crobat and on oh, okay. uh, Bishop. The fact drain that you live at Drain Punch is wild to me. <laughs> Let's see. I feel like the reason why Chase... Not the dog on him, but I think the reason he didn't make playoffs is because he literally... Springs Tailwind on eight Pokemon. If he can't win with that, he doesn't know what else to do. Yeah, he's been relying on his. I mean, it, it's a good strategy lot. though, to be honest, because Tailwind is really hard to counter. I mean, yeah, oh. you're not wrong. There's Especially only two when he ways. has a pocket Needle King, bro. It's either Trick yeah, Room or your own Tailwind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trick Room, Tailwind, or stall it out. <laughs> yeah, or just do what I did. God, Chris, look at that. It doesn't even do half, bro. Like, what is this? Crest isn't even fair, man. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> you get the sub up. Oh, my God. I'm evil. You're a piece of shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, man. Yeah, feel free to ask fire. me more, uh, more of the thought processes. Of All the right, so in this position, was what made you want to go demon mode? <laughs> Wait, what the uh, <laughs> Oh jeez, man. Alright, when you saw the super fang there, did that scare you moving into the rest of the set? Um, it didn't scare me, but I knew it was a win con and it meant that I couldn't sub in front of Nido King because he would just break the sub every time. Mm, right. So as as soon as I saw Super Fang, I was like, okay, no more subs in front of this guy. Plus, I also knew that Psychic just kills Nido King. Like, it does like 70 damage, 70%. Yeah. So I'm like, how's the Psychic him? <laughs> that, mo that mod is ungodly. <laughs> I'm back up here and I can see the screen now, All so right. I can give you better commentary. Chase <laughs> Warfleet. On the game two. Alright. Game two. Alright, so I see the lead match up here. Alright, uh -huh. same lead. Same thing. Okay, so the uh, there was a little bit of a difference though when I led this time. Alright, I was your... thinking um I was thinking I was actually gonna I clicked Regilecki first. Right? But oh. I was like <laughs> on the off chance on the off chance that he starts something that I'll have to switch out that's ground. That'll put me in a really bad position. So I was like, I might as well just pick Crowbat, because even if he does do that, I can just Brave Bird it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. And and did you run Scarf of Smagius to outspeed things? Yeah. yeah. Miss Magius, I ran Miss Magius just to come in as a pocket just kill and out outspeed and kill. 
the fact that Brave Bird sold his 99% is ridiculous <laughs> behavior. That is. Banded what Crobat is 99.7%? Yeah. Fun effect for the video. Plaz taught me at the end of the season, or at the beginning of the season. Like, he told me Miss Maggie is his job, but I really didn't understand what the fuck he was talking about. Yeah. So, <laughs> now I think I have a good grasp of how to use the character. She just, she just comes in. And she's faster than you, so she kills you. That is just her niche. <laughs> Comes in, It only kills took you. two seasons um, with her to get it, but you got it just in time for season two playoffs, and that's all that matters. I figured that was it. 0.3% health. Mink. Mink. That does nothing. It does nothing, but... I also didn't know he had crunch here. I was like, crunch? What the fuck? Well, really, yeah, Miss Magius was, was very, you here. doing that is actually very troll, because Magius Fry is like these two, and these are his two biggest threats outside of Nito, so. You throwing away Miss Does, Magius I, puts on so much more pressure on Abyssheart. I knew that, but I also knew that I had some pocket power still, so I was, I was willing to get well, this off knew, of. You also knew this had Akaberry from game one, so like, what? I get, I don't, because you're, by throwing away Miss Magius there, you're putting yourself in the same position from game one, where you basically have to trade Bishop for Jirachi, and you're already behind. Yeah, I guess I wasn't even thinking about this as a win con. My win con was getting the ground Pokemon dead so that Regilecki could play the game. Yeah. But I think that's why I lost this, this game. I mean, as you ultimately see, I lost, I'm pretty sure I lose this one. Yeah, you lose this one. It was because I put my focus in the wrong thing. Yeah, and the fact that he got that reset differential there with the leads, oh my god, that was crazy. Uh, the explosion, yeah. It just seemed like yeah, an overall it, it good literally, move. it forced you to just use explosion. Okay, so why did you Dragon Claw there? I Dragon Clawed Nito. I didn't know he was going to switch. But ground doesn't resist fire. I don't have a fire move. Oh, what was your set? It was Dragon Claw, Dragon Dance, Dual Wing Beat, and uh... Oh, Dual Wing Beat would have killed from 28%? I know, looking back, I should have used Dual Wing Beat. He I Dual Wing Beat it here, bro? Oh, his I know, bro, I right. bro. After this, right <laughs> at this moment, I was like, Oh, dude, if I had Dual Wing Beat, I would have killed him, or I would have killed him. <laughs> I should have just Dual Wing Beat it, yeah. You don't have to tell me. I, I know. Oh my god, <laughs> man. Evil. I can't remember what my other move is. Maybe Earthquake? Yeah, I think I think I have Earthquake on. That was big from Chase. Toxicking the yeah. grass, that was massive. It was really good. I thought that was zero. <laughs> yeah, he got me. He, this was just check me. I just knew that I lost here. Yeah. So I was like, eh. I just play it out. I just see what all he can do to me. I learn moves, we go right, you next. You gotta intel on them. Get that intel. Yeah. And then I, I started I started playing cringy here. I'm like, let me just stall out. Because he has to use all of his shit. So, fuck it. I just stall him out. <laughs> this is helping me win the mental game, bro. Like, I'll heal here. There's no reason to, but I will. <laughs> when, he like, at, at most... when he Draco there, I thought he trolled. Until I saw that it still fucking killed, I was like, oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, bro, I had it in the calc, and I was like, maybe it doesn't kill. It still killed, and I was like, oh. <laughs> I didn't put the, um, the minus, the minus in, because it was only like a hundred and, maybe like a hundred twenty, hundred thirty. If he didn't have the drop, so I'm like, uh. oh, No, if he didn't have the drop, so it would have done like two hundred something, because he's at minus two, and it still did a hundred. Oh. Okay. Yeah. For all the marbles, Preston says. God, the fa like, literally, like, I don't know why he didn't, like, really, I don't understand why he didn't just hard switch Jirachi there. Like, he knows that you're banded from the damage you're doing, and Jirachi's his only thing that can eat a hit. Why did he just let everything fucking die to this? I don't know. It makes and then he those... crunched me. Yeah, I don't the crunch know why. I didn't understand. Like, the second Silvalli died there, I was like, oh, Reggie just needs one more thing gone, and it literally just wins. See, right here when you switch into Crest, I'm like, okay, good. 
Curse is realizing that yes, Christ is his win con, but it's also his best thing to wall this motherfucker. Uh, yeah, I, I know. I, I recognize that it's a wall as much as it is I don't a know why con. Chase stayed in. That him taking this yeah. damage is so troll. Yeah, I was like, he's gonna switch, but even if he does, I get chip damage on something, and then yeah. I could probably moonlight. It can't kill me. But he stayed in. I was like, yeah, oh. I don't. I don't know why you. Why were you? Why? Why did you decide to call mine in front of the Latios? I call mine in front of Latios because I remembered last game his Draco did nothing to me, so I was gonna call mine and then sub. Did you know that Encore goes through sub or no? I didn't. Okay. I did not. Because yeah. The second I saw you click call my mare, I was like, okay. Yeah, I had later no the idea. Quick sub again, I was like, oh man. But but that time it was smart because he had encored me into it, so I just stayed behind the sub. Yeah. It was just like a safe play to just stay and then behind. Right the sub. here, bro. If you click Iron Head right here, this thing. Yeah. Is, uh, I, uh, this I mean, thing is, uh, when I saw this, I was like, oh, this curse might actually not. Because uh, what I thought was, it said its max speed was faster than me. So I'm it's thinking not. he's going to be max You're speed so he can be faster. You're 262, he's 240. I'm 262? What? No, my max... max speed. I was max speed and it was like 2... Oh, I wasn't speed built though. I was... um, oh, Like my nature speed. wasn't for speed. Yeah. No. That's why. Well, That's why I was afraid because I wasn't well, for speed. There's a difference. Since he was specs, he probably wasn't a speed nature as well because he probably just wants to damage. So again, yeah, little stuff like that I'm still picking up on. Yeah, that that's more of like a niche thing, I guess. But since he's also since he specs, he probably since prim speed is low and its attack is very high, he was probably modest, which means you probably still outsped. But that's more of a niche thing. Yeah, that's like something to learn going forward. And I don't know why you sacked Crowbat there, but I was like, all right, whatever. I sacked him because I figured at this point, it really, I really don't even need Crowbat anymore to win the rest. I guess, but if Tailwind's not up, Crobat kills this and does a kills this. But I, guess I also figured he was gonna mage, stay. You catch him as mage. I don't know why he brought out li right here. If he just brings out Wim, gets the trick room up, or gets the if he just moon blasts you turn one, gets down to mm -hmm. Sash, and then Tailwinds and then brings out. I guess I don't know. I I also pre calc that Shadow Ball would kill Jirachi if I hit him with the. Uh... I guess fruit. he had to keep the Tailwind in the back, but him taking that much damage on Latios like really fucked him up. You see here, bro, he just encores me in a sub, and I'm like, I mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's just I doing mean, it so you can't do anything, but he also can't do anything. I know, but that's, for me, I'm like, no, no, this is a winning he, battle for me. So right here, he trolls, because he, like, goes out in a Nido King as you Psychic, and it dies. I don't know why he didn't go out in a Nido King when you were Encored, because if he just started Super Fang you, it would have forced you out. Like, right here, he does True. it in the last turn of last turn of Encore. Or no, not the yeah, last he should have did it. Yeah. But even if he does it, even if he does it before, the move I use is sub. And I, oh, it had Tailwind up, Tailwind, you're right. I mean, he still wouldn't kill me, though, and I would just get the... I would just get the sub up again. Yeah, right here, I don't know why he switches into Nito. Yeah, this I was like, oh. When I saw okay. that, I was like, oh yeah, that's game. Charizard yeah. hasn't had a chance to put in work this, <laughs> this end of the season. It's all been all Cress. <laughs> right. No, it hasn't been all Cress. It hasn't been all Cress. Crobat has been it. putting in work. <laughs> Crobat's been put, nah, bro. Crobat has been putting in work. Y'all right, Kevin. No, I'm not. Hey, listen. Crobat and Reggie went crazy, but Crest is the big thing that people are scared of now. Okay, right here, I mean, Chris. There's... Why didn't you just switch out into Charizard and just kill this piece of shit? So the whole time I was thinking, I can switch out to Charizard and kill this thing, but I want to make sure that I take away as much Encores as possible so he can't Encore me into a bad But move. he's going to still have more. He's at least going to have... An encore to before you die because yeah, you're, he had, had I know, encores. I know, I had because I had right here. I was thinking you might actually lose because if he gets tailwind up and he is like, and if he was like a mix set with like earthquake and um and uh Draco, he could have earthquake to Reggie and then Draco to your Charizard and then he would have won. That's what I was afraid of. I was like, oh, Chase might actually win now if he's like a mix set. I mean, he showed all of his moves, though. He had Mystical Fire... Yeah, Mystical Fire, Draco, that's all, and maybe Psychic. That's all we saw, I think. Yeah, those are the three moves we've seen. I mean, I guess his last move could have been Earthquake, but... 
think he uh, had two on. That would have just been better arm. prep. He would have just prepped better than me. Then, well, that's what I mean. Until I you left. know the exact move set, like you sacking Crestar for no reason, like really, like it could have fucked you up massively. But here, yeah, here I guess. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I had all of this yeah, stuff pre-planned, but I didn't. When we were like you're saying, call, I wasn't thinking about an earthquake. When we were sitting in the call. Where like if Chris Meg is here and lose because of this, I'm literally gonna punch my fucking oh I I would have lost it. <laughs> nah, I knew I knew I because what I did in the calc, I made sure that I looked at both. Yeah. All right, so that was Chris Karen his first or his fifth seed going to the playoffs versus that M Nussi, and now we're gonna look over Taz versus Chase. The game ended like an hour or two ago, but we're on to it. Oh my god, it was already an hour and a half ago. Jesus Christ. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so what made you leader Bombay here? Um, I just want my webs up. That's That was it. That's all I wanted. That's where Bombay's only job for this whole thing was going to be putting up webs. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't bring Defog on Latios or something or on the whim. Like, it's so. Like, it was bro, very... I was screaming at the whole set, bro. I'm like, bro, like the, he has no like Defog. The fact Game that over. he didn't bring Defog, like, this set was over. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, bro, there's no Defog for the game is over. Like, I, like, <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Like, whether you bring Rebombe or not, you just have to have the Defog for potential webs. Webs is too Wait, scary. can we, can we take a minute to appreciate Chase's nicknames in these games? Because they're all so good. Car who Wish Some Bitches, Worst Used Mega, and then I forget the other two. Or this was Playboy, and I forget what this was. No, it was Pornstar. Oh, this is Pornstar, <laughs> and I forget what this was. <laughs> yeah, yo, he was bitching about hacks, but this right here is most oh maniacal shit I've seen in my career. <laughs> you see the oh no turn oh, six. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I literally got flinched every time. Like it never paralyzed anyone. Granted, it, it is an eighty-five percent chance, but still. Well, it's not. It's an eighty-five percent chance for me not to move. Yeah, that's what I mean. But it's a. Oh, man. I mean, that's a pretty high percentage chance, bro. No, I know, but still, just watching that, it's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and then right, oh, right there, that must have been a mental shatter for you. It was. I was really surprised he didn't. And then watch what happens. I switch into yeah, low and then the Wait, so what were you expecting right there? Him to switch out I'll, on the v -create. I was expecting him to sw switch out on the V-Create, and he oh, didn't. Okay. And then he thunder waved. I'm like, okay, Lopen, he can take this. It has limber. I forgot to change its ability to limber. Yeah, when I what saw that, did. I was like, Limber makes it so you can't be paralyzed. Mmm. And I'm like, I just thought, like, okay, this game's over at this point. And then you get paired first turn. Yeah. Into the crate, and then you get paired again. <laughs> yeah, Ch like, listen, Chase, if you watch this video, I don't mean to be a dick, but, like, let's be honest, you, you there was hacks on both sides, I will say that. But brother in Christ, 14 turns and he hasn't been able to play the fucking game yet. And then he thought this crit- there's no way that crit- I I'm gonna calc it, cause there's no way that crit mattered. Yeah, what, there's no what, was what was your item? Were I, you bandit or scarf? I was scarf, I was scarf. Your scarf? Alright. Scarf... Why is it- Max. Damn! You were jolly, right? Uh, jolly, yeah, I was speed, nature. Well, do not have Obama Snow in against Victini. Yeah, no, never. And then let's do Aka. Yeah, so even if he's... Even if... Oh, uh, well, what was he? Okay, crit actually did matter, because your V-crit would have only done 43 to 51. Okay, oh my so God. crit did matter. If he was didn't max... Assuming he was max defense, max HP with, like, a impish nature, that crit actually did not matter. All right, so if he was max defense, though, right? Yeah, he had to be absolute max defense. Yeah, that was the only way. Which he probably was, because you have low punny and metagross, but... Alright, so that crit mattered, but still... Wow. It was only doing 50, but it did... It Moongus did 100. just walls. It literally just yeah, walls Moongus everything. Yeah, is different. <laughs> Moongus it is just so walls different. everything. I, people are thinking, like, oh, he didn't put in a... He didn't keep 
explicit now. Amoongus is just better. Yeah, like, it gives me a type. And then I saw like, this. Oh man. Like that's, that's some for... revenge. That's some revenge right that there. You, I don't know, bro. Were you Max Pedef or what were you? I was Max Pedef. Bro, the fact that Psychic did that little is like, what the fuck is this thing? Max HP, Max Pedef. And then I think I just switched out again. Bro, you yeah. turn just did 50 damage. Mm -hmm. And then I think I went right back to Amoongus for that full imagine HP, being a, baby. Imagine being a mega legendary and you die to a U-turn. I was actually okay with that choice band switch. Yeah, because he's just taking the damage from... Yeah. Yeah. And at this point, I wasn't really scared with Dusclops at all. And right there, that was a, that was a big brain switch. That was a huge bro. Cause if he switched root again, that would have been so massive. Oh my god, that would have been crazy. Switcheroo again, bro. If he would have did a switcheroo again, that would have been mega. Okay, I was thinking he was gonna either switcheroo, or he was going to toxic. That yeah, he was, got double. That was right his there. only was options. That was his only options to deal with those that two combo. I won't lie to you, Hex and Pokemon is kind of busted. <laughs> yeah, especially when there's a Jirachi or Togekiss in the game, it gets amped up a lot. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Just kills the porn star. Mm -hmm. I want. I switched Clops here because I wanted a, a easy trade into. Uh, you know, I agree with that. To, yeah. At this point, it was just me sacking Mons like a punch. to guarantee that the team kills everything. Imagine getting V created. I don't know why he brought out this. I, I feel like I feel like Prim can live one V create. I don't know if it did. I think she was low, there. Right? Yeah, it was. It was already. No, it's at 100. percent Oh, it was. Oh, then I'm just brain dead or something. What do you mean? Then did let me just damage. bring Amoongus in for free. Yeah, no. I feel like if he just went prim there, he could all he could have not win for sure, but he had a better chance of winning. And then I just let Amoongus go. I mean, down these there. psychics were kind of good. Yeah, you're right. I think if he just. Oh wait, no. I think I. Yeah. Okay. I switched out for that bolt and then strike. hit that bolt strike. Oh, all right. I've brought it for every game. I've brought Victini uh, physical, and I've, I have I think that might have been the first time I used it. <laughs> yeah. Most of the time, like, yeah, bolt strike is good, but if a water type is ready to be create, you just click that goddamn thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then right here, I'm assuming same thing, just get webs up. Just get webs up. Because I, I noticed that he has no, no sort of a removal for it. Mm -hmm. And then he, he did allow me to switch my ability for this you one. Me so. in the chat. Crazy tech with that the tail crazy slap. Tech. Put him down. Pressure. I don't know. Okay, so that miss kind of sucks. Like, I don't know what Chase thought here. Because this was a very obvious will o -Wisp in my mind. Yeah. Yeah, I this part I was like, oh, man. Like he should have went Latios, and then he should have went into Ambipom on the Nightshade. Okay, the Toxic on Lopunny was really good. I'm going to yeah. say that. The yeah, toxic that was on actually Lopunny a money play. was huge. And then the fact that he just allows me to keep you turning it for Chip. Bruh, wish some bitches, bro. This, okay, I will give this a chase. The fact that this you didn't get paralyzed. Yeah, the fact that you didn't get paralyzed a single. Okay, well, that will o wisp miss. But I did. I did miss will o wisp twice. Okay, so okay, that makes sense. But the fact that you didn't get paralyzed at all in this entire thing is wild. This is crazy. Yeah, no para yeah. or a flinch <laughs> with an eighty-five percent chance. That's crazy. Uh, Pokemon is a wild game. <laughs> Uh, uh, this this was this was showdown finally giving me some love after all the yeah, hate. Yeah, after all uh, the hacks. fucking high jump kick misses. Yeah, oh. high jump kick and missing on toxic on everything, and and then he yeah, basically just allowed me to heal Dusclops. If that free. goes the way that it was yeah. supposed to go. But really, that was his best way to do damage. Oh, Ladios, Draco. I don't know if it kills from there. 
Prim, maybe, since it's Fex, but man, he was in a rough spot here. He just doesn't have the greatest thing to kill your Dusclops. And then I knew that uh, at that after Drachu was down, I can just keep hitting Return on just everything. Yeah. Especially with the webs up, sheesh. Yeah. I think I U-turned here. Yeah. yeah. Bad 62. Right, it grows eats those. It doesn't eat those. You, that surprised right, the me. Fact, hey, but the fact you no, you know what's crazy there? I was sitting in the I was sitting in my smite game when I saw that. I was like, if he had shadow ball, number one that kills you because it's like five more base power difference, so that would have killed you. And it also would have uh, been better for the dust clops. Like I don't know why he didn't have shadow ball on his. Well, years. I think he was thinking probably for the metagross and Amoongus. He's a psychic type. Yeah, but he's just a psychic, but I, I guess he was just thinking for switching reasons. I guess, but like, if he has Shadow Ball that- Cause like, really, what on his fucking team kills your goddamn Dusclops? Yeah, this knocks off your goddamn Aviolite, but other than that, he doesn't really have anything to kill it. Yeah. And um, I brought it full physical- I think I brought it physically defensive. <laughs> Bro, what does kill it? <laughs> yeah, nothing on his team really kills it. That's what I mean. Like, I don't know. I feel like if he had Shadow Ball, this game would have went a little... Di not too do differently, but... It would have... Maybe changed up some plays in his mind. I was so happy that I was allowed to just abuse U-turns here. Yeah, <laughs> having, a, having a u U-turn core with an Regenerator mod is just sheesh. We sack this boy off and bring out the low pony again, I believe. Another oh, Victini. Yeah, because you just click V create. I can just click V create all day long. Oh no, that was a one percenter. <laughs> that, oh, that's <laughs> right. The one percenter, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now right here when I saw that you ate. I hit Sunsport, you with the get bozoed. Yeah, right here, when I saw you get Sunsport, I was like, oh shit, tabs might lose maybe. Especially right here, because right here, I was like, oh, he just goes Amoongus on the Earth Power, and I saw you sack Victini, I'm like, oh no. But then I forgot that you can just cycle out your fake outs, I was like, ah, oh, okay, never yeah. mind. And fake out does enough damage. There was a way, yeah. there was a way Chase could have won this, but he the played only, it wrong with- The only way Chase would have won there, is if, is um, if he did not stack Windy. Is if Tab sacked his low punny for no reason there, and then he got like a crit ice beam. That was the only way. And then I just, I was just trying to get rid of, make sure that that tailwind didn't have any effect. Yeah. I was just cycling. All right, gents. Now that was the tournament for the most part. Now we got the crazy one coming up later. Trying, like I'm looking at Chase's team and like, he just, he just, yeah, he doesn't have anything to really kill your dust class. That sucks. That is bad. That is bad. Hey. Sometimes the mat, even on my, I guess I have Dragapult, but I'm also a ghost type, so it's not really the best for me. Yeah, Dusclops is surprisingly good for a mon that's not even in, in a tier. It's not fully evolved tier, it's below it's a, The only reason it's that low is because one, its HP is very low, and two, it doesn't have reliable recovery. If it had slightly higher HP, and had to like recover that Pokemon would be fucking OU. Oh, absolutely. The fact that Dusknor. Wait, what's the ability? What ability does Alakazam give when he? Oh, never mind. When he Megas, he gets Trace, which yeah. just copies your ability. Oh, which he has okay, used. That's what it was. Oh wait, did you end the recording yet? No, I didn't end it. Yet. No, oh. no. Because <laughs> we're talking about. No, yeah, don't worry about it. No. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> all right, so I just couldn't remember. Here, before we end it off, I'll start with Chris since you're the higher seed. Yes, sir. You don't spoil anything, but how are you feeling going into your game against Mnaz next weekend? On a scale from 1 to 10, what's the confidence level? I feel like it has to be pretty high considering the past couple weeks you've had. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I see myself in the finals, and I see myself beating both JC and Mnaz. All right, so what it, when you see me in the finals, how do you feel about that? Coach versus student, <laughs> the master versus the student. How do you feel about that? Now, technically, not even technically. Last time we played, you bozoed me. So if what you say is true, we might have the champion in the call right now. <laughs> Maybe I still got to, I still have to beat JC, which is probably going to be like, 
Oh, the you're not even worried about Emez. You're not even worried. You said we go into the semis for sure, bro. <laughs> Jeez. I'm God. worried about Emez, but if I, I think I know his win cons, and he got rid of something I was scared of. And since he doesn't have it anymore, I feel like if I get rid of the win con, I just eat his team alive. That is true. That is true. Now moving on to our number six seed, Tabs. Now you were the fan. I would not even fan favorite. You had the very high chance of securing fifth seed in the last week, and you lost and tragically so, to Chris. I was and then so our confident. Game, you MS, lost. Yeah. How does it feel <laughs> to now have your mindset shifted from facing against your your boy Mness and now going up against Tanner? How, how's the mind shift feeling right now? I. I don't know, honestly. Uh, I know the mons that I traded are definitely stronger than what I had, for sure. But I traded specifically for JC and uh, Mnaz. And so now I'm kind of at a... At, like I feel, <laughs> I feel like me and Chris would perform better in the opposite positions. Like... <laughs> Now there is one thing I do want to bring up. Now you don't have I don't want you to spoil any sets that you have in mind. But you traded Blissey for Amoongus. And Blissey is the get best counter in the game besides Chansey to Blacephalon. How on it how do you feel in your comfortability on taking on the Ultra Beast in both Nihilego and Blacephalon? And how do you feel Tanner's trades and how do you feel Tanner's Gudra pickup affects this set? Oh, Gudrum definitely makes him very, way stronger. I can't, uh, I can't just do free attacks now without worrying about speed, and speed has always been a problem with me. So, like that, that's definitely a problem. Um, the fact that he has a bunch of dark types into my ton of psychic types is bad. Uh, the Nihil lit the my brother in Christ. Cool. He doesn't have a single dark. Well, he only has. He traded Umbreon for the Gujar. The only dark type he has now is Hydreigon. Oh, okay, that's that's right. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was about that's, to say. that's a little. That's a little bit better. My heart, <laughs> I was though. like, my that's brother a little in bit Christ. <laughs> that's a little bit better for my heart. Um, f as for the Blacephalon, I'm not too worried about the Nihilego. Uh, as for the Blacephalon. I have to go to the workshop for that. <laughs> like that one. That one's gonna be a little bit tough. Yeah. I would I would have to uh I would have to agree on that. Um Yeah. Now had now again Chris said he thinks he's going to finals. What do you think now you can be as confident as you want or you can be as realistic as you want. However you truly feel ha what what do you think your chances of moving to the semis are and what do you think your chances of meeting Chris potentially in the finals are? Okay, I, I have always been a realist. I don't do the whole bullshitting around. Honestly, I think it's a 50-50 chance for me making it to semis. And then from there on, I don't know. I'm going to take it a day-by-day -day basis and see how I feel. Because mental is a big thing for me. That is and if I, if, I beat, if I beat Tanner, I think my mental will be at an all-time high since he's been so dominant <laughs> yeah ever since he picked up that comfy it has been very different very different but yeah so i think for as for chances for semis i think it's a 50 50 because since i do have metagross now which is crazy good into tanner um i, I think it's i think i gotta i have a chance that's for sure i definitely have a chance I mean, as for beating yeah. as for beating you, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to I'll cross that bridge if I get to it. Alright, well you heard it here first folks. Got our final two seeds here. Chris in the fifth, Tabs in the sixth. Uh they face off against the number three and four seeds next week. So Chris versus Tanner. Or Chris versus Mnaz, rather sorry, and then Taz versus Tanner. And yeah, um, that's gonna be that. Um, you should probably say the team names. No, oh, whatever. Okay, at Arizona Ash Ketchums versus Last Minute Linoons in the quarters, and then Bray Loom Bambinos versus the Monroe Minins in this other quarters game. Uh, and again, the quarters and semis are best of three. Finals is a best of five. So if you make it the finals, you gotta get ready for a potentially two extra games. Best of, 
Wait, is it best of five without with the same exact team? Yep, best of five with the same Ooh, team. Oh my goodness. I'm just saying, if you thought these games were long already best of three, Tanner versus JC last season, it went to a game five, and my lord, that was a long game, but it was exciting to watch, so. <laughs> We are finally done the road to playoffs. So it's finally the playoffs time. Um, now this could potentially be your last games. If you were to lose, let's say, worst case scenario, you guys lose your games. What Pokemon, I already know, but just for the sake of the video, what Pokemon are we potentially looking to draft next season or even franchise going into next season? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Taz, what about you? Is there any Pokemon you want to franchise, or maybe not uh, even franchise, but maybe heavily consider redrafting? Um, I'm just gonna let everyone know. Don't even look at Lopunny. That one's coming back. <laughs> is that a franchise or is that a redraft? That's definitely a franchise right there. <laughs> here to hear first, folks. Cresselia and Lopunny are confirmed franchises moving into season three. Wait, what about you? Me? Um, you? What you franchise? I'm not franchising nothing. Ooh. If y'all want Dragapult or Landorus or Infernape for Raikou, y'all can have it. Y'all can have it. I like to go with a different <laughs> roster every time. The only reason I brought Hitmontop back was because I love... Hitmontop is such a good low-tier Pokemon that it just has a lot of value. But other than that, I like having a new, fresh of, new fresh faces every season, so... We'll I, say my team next season will be very electrifying. Mm, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. And I will say that... Dusclops may be making a reappearance. <laughs> Fellas, you guys are hearing it here. Draft plans are already getting leaked two months out. <laughs> but that'll be that. I'm ending this video because it's already long enough. Uh, if you're in the playoffs, hope hope you guys do good. And enough.